Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about how to measure AC voltage and DC voltage with a digital multimeter. Here you see this is our digital multimeter and you can see here that this the knob is in off position and this is the symbol of AC voltage right and AC voltage measures from 200 volt to 700 750 50 volt up to 750 volt right and you see this one is the section of DC voltage you can measure DC voltage from 200 millivolt to 2000 millivolt 20 volt 200 volt up to 1000 volt you can measure the DC voltage right first of all we will measure the AC voltage here you see this is the AC voltage it measures from 200 volt to 750 volt right we are measuring first the AC voltage here you see this is our AC current you can see here that this is our but remember that before measuring AC voltage you have to be very careful about it otherwise you may get shock right so be careful to measure the AC voltage and check whether your probes and all these meters are in perfect condition only then you can measure the AC voltage otherwise you will get shock to measure this AC voltage this is very dangerous for you don't try it at home if, have, if you have don't expertise in this subject right you see here we are going to measure the AC voltage with the help of this digital multimeter now you see how you can measure the AC voltage here you see we have taken the heat here and see that we are measuring the AC voltage you see this is AC current right here you can see that this is AC current and we are measuring the AC voltage first after that we measure DC voltage you see here we are taking this one and it we will put the knob here you see here this part knob should be put at 750 volt because we have to put at it at maximum voltage right you see here we have put it at 750 volt it is starting from 0 volt to 750 volt and we measure the voltage with this this digital multimeter you see this is our ac current right alternating current or ac current now you can measure it you can see that how we are measuring this ac voltage Yes, you can see that we are measuring it and we are getting two hundred forty three volt. But here you have to be very careful while measuring the voltage we can get here you see here we are getting this as 243 volt we are getting the AC voltage right in this way you can measure the AC voltage but remember that be careful to measure AC voltage because this is a very uh, dangerous and it will may it may harm you it you may get shock to get the measurement so be careful to measure the AC voltage here, here you see here we are getting 243 volt right 243 volt our AC voltage is 243 volt in this way you can measure the AC voltage right dear friends now we will show you how to measure the DC voltage right we have shown you that this is our AC voltage this is our AC voltage this one is AC voltage and we are getting 243 volt in AC voltage we are, we are measuring the AC current now we will get the DC voltage here see this is the DC section DC voltage and we can measure you put it the knob at 20 volt and we will measure the DC voltage right 
let us see how much we are getting the DC voltage. Remember that to measure the volt you have to put it in parallel connection and to measure the current you have to put the multimeter in series connection. We are measuring the voltage that is why you have to put the all the cell in the parallel connection. Now you see how to measure parallel connection. You see here we have taken to one cell and you can see here that this is positive uh, positive pole and this is negative right. Now we know that the red one is positive and the black one is negative. Now everybody we are going to measure the DC voltage for measuring DC voltage you have to put the knob at 200 milli ampere to millivolt or 200 2000 millivolt 20 volt 200 volt up to 1000 volt you can measure with this digital multimeter now you see this is our positive probe the red one is the positive probe and the black one is negative probe we will miss we will connect this digital multimeter in in parallel connection to measure voltage now you see how we measure the voltage of a cell you see here this is the positive and this is negative we will touch the positive terminal with positive probe and negative with negative and you see how much we are getting the voltage you see this is 1.29 volt you, see, you can see here that this is 1.29 volt right this is 1.29 volt now you can measure other cell also you see this one this one is the positive this one is the negative you touch it with the positive terminal and negative with the black 0 0.73 volt the 0 0.73 volt this one and if you measure this cell you see this is also a cell and if you measure the voltage you can get here this is the negative this is positive right take it with positive and negative and you see this is 0 0.23 volt 0 0.23 volt this cell is 0 0.23 volt and you see there is another cell you see here this is the negative terminal this is a positive pole of the battery of the cell let us measure this one and you get here as 1.35 volt you see here 1.35 volt you have to remember that when you, whenever you measure the voltage you have to put it in parallel connection otherwise you can you see these two cells are connected in series and let's see what is the voltage this is the negative terminal we put the it, it put it negative and i put the positive here here and you get 2.45 volt these are the connection series and we are getting 2.45 volt once again we are measuring the voltage and you will get you see this is connected in series we are getting 2.41 volt right getting 2.41 volt volt right if you measure this cell you know that this is the positive terminal and this is the negative terminal negative with negative and positive with positive and you see how much uh, voltage we are getting we are getting 1.33 volt right this is very easy to measure voltage now you see if you measure the voltage of this cell let us take the positive side and we are getting 1.35 volt this is 1.35 volt right and if you measure the battery of this cell let us this is the negative terminal put it in negative and put the positive probe on the positive terminal of the cell and you will get the voltage here you see we are getting 2 0.23 volt right 0 0.22 volt it is 0 0.22 volt you can measure all the cell in this way right remember that you have to put the you see here we are measuring this one with this positive terminal and you are getting 1.36 volt this is 1.36 volt right and if you measure the cell here we are getting how much we are getting you see here we are getting yes it is 1.48 volt it is very easy to measure voltage because you have to put the multimeter in parallel connection only then you can measure otherwise you can't right here you see you are getting it you are getting 0 0.19 volt this is 0 0.19 volt this cell and if you measure the cell voltage of this cell let us take how much we are getting 
you are getting 1.39 volt 1.39 volt it is 1.39 volt and we measure this one let us take how much voltage you are getting negative with negative and positive with positive and you are getting 1.38 volt right this is 1.38 volt now if you measure the voltage of this shield what you are getting and get this is negative terminal and this is positive terminal and let us see how much we are getting yes we are getting 0. Point, 0. 0.13 volt this is 0. 0.13 volt right and if you measure this one let us see how much voltage you are getting you see here yes it is 0. 0.35 volt right this one this is a discharge discharge battery we are not getting result for that here you see how much we are getting this is 0. 0.01 volt this is 0. 0.01 volt right and if you measure this one nipo gold let us see how much voltage we are getting connect it with the negative terminal this one a red one the positive terminal and we are getting the accurate voltage now you see this is 8.18 volt in this way you can measure the voltage of different cells with this digital multimeter but if you remember that if we if we connect two batteries in series connection then what will happen or if we measure or if we change it into parallel connection what is the change in result let us take uh, take it and put it in series connection and we check how much voltage we are getting right let us put it put two voltage two battery two cells in series connection and parallel connection and we will show you how much voltage we are getting let us see that we are we will put two cells in series connection and we will show you how much voltage we are getting suppose this you have to put it in series connection suppose this one or we can take another cell now here we will see we are we will put two cells in series connection and it's great and let us say how much we are getting the voltage and how it is uh, what are what will the equivalent uh, equivalent voltage you see here first of all we measure this uh, cell uh, let us take how much uh, voltage it is it is you see it is uh, 4.69 volt right it is 4.67 volt it is 4.67 volt and if you measure this one you will get how much you see here we are getting we are getting nearly you are getting let us take let us measure the voltage of this cell and you will see that the voltage of this cell is nearly 8.18 volt now we will we will make a series connection with this of these two cells and we will see how much how the voltage is changing right you see here we are positive we are connected to the positive terminal of this cell with the negative terminal of another cell you see here we are, this is the negative terminal and it connected with the negative terminal of the another cell and this is connected in series connection right now this is in series connection i will measure how much voltage it is right now you check, check, check see here we are connecting this with the negative terminal you see here and it connect this probe with the positive terminal and they are connected in series and let's see how much voltage we are getting you see here we are getting 12.81 volt 12.80 that means the voltage is added up right this voltage is added with this voltage if the if we connect the two batteries two cells in series connection it will be added up right now if we measure if we, we change this connection as parallel connection then what will happen let us see right before parallel connection what you have to do what you have to do in this way that you have to take this negative terminal of the cell to connect with the negative terminal of the cell cell one right this is the negative with negative and you have to put the positive terminal with positive terminal and let's see how much we are getting the voltage now here you see we are putting the positive terminal and connecting the positive terminal with the positive terminal of the cell right this is negative with negative and positive with positive terminal of the cell and we will check how much voltage we are getting
we have connected positive with positive terminal of the cell and negative with negative terminal of the cell and now we will check how much voltage we are getting right this is parallel connection right this is parallel connection of the cell and now we will see how much voltage we are getting in parallel connection of two cells you see here this is the negative terminal we touch the negative terminal of the cell and we will get how much voltage we are getting see here we are touching the negative terminal and this with positive terminal and we will check the result how much voltage we are getting in this connection you see positive with positive terminal we are connecting positive with positive terminal and negative with negative terminal of the cell and we will and connect these two cells in parallel connection and we will check how much voltage we are getting right you see here this is the negative terminal we put it in negative terminal and you get the and here you are getting the positive terminal and you see you are getting 6 .8, 6 .6 volt right that means there is a difference in the voltage how much the formula for the formula again we will measure this one you see here again we are measuring this one that negative terminal touch the negative terminal with the negative probe and the positive terminal with the positive probe and get the uh, equivalent voltage in nearly 7.94 volt nearly 7.95 volt that means what we are getting that in parallel connection we are getting 1 by r is equal to 1 by 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 that is the result we are getting but in series connection the voltage are added up right in this way you can measure the ac voltage and dc voltage dear friends if you like this video please subscribe like and share thank you everybody for watching this video